These two circuits perform a high-pass operation. In other words, components of this signal that have higher frequencies will pass through and be seen at the output voltage, whereas lower frequency components will be attenuated in the resistor and not make it through to the output. Similarly here in the capacitor, higher frequency components will make it through, whereas lower frequency components will be attenuated by the capacitor here. Let's um, see if we can understand this. Once again, the impedance of the inductor is pro directly proportional to the frequency. As the frequency gets larger, this impedance gets larger. This time let's talk about it in terms of its um, being a voltage divider. As, a, as this impedance gets larger relative to the overall impedance in series, then a larger percentage of the signal will be, will be dropped here across the inductor. So for higher frequencies, we have a larger impedance here, and we'll see the higher frequency components showing up here at the output, whereas lower frequency components will see a smaller impedance, and we'll, more of that signal will be dropped here. In the extremes, when omega equals zero, this impedance here is zero. It's effectively a short circuit. So we have our input, we have a resistor, and that inductor is effectively a short circuit. At low frequencies, we see nothing here. But as the frequencies get higher, this impedance becomes larger. And in fact, in the limit as omega approaches infinity, this inductor starts to look like an open circuit. And under these cases, and in this case, then, an open circuit no current can flow. If no current flows at these higher frequency variations, there will be none of that voltage dropped across this resistor because there will be no current associated with that. And if there's not a voltage drop across here, then we will see at the output the input high frequency components. They will pass through here unscathed, or V out will consist of the high frequency components. Similarly down here, at low frequencies when omega is small, this is a large impedance. And in the limit when frequency is zero, this is effectively an open circuit. The capacitor appears as an open circuit for lower frequencies. No current gets through. If no current gets through, there will be no voltage across here. So for low frequency components, we'll see, none of the, we'll see none of the low frequency components across this resistor. On the other hand, the high frequency components cause that capacitor to appear as though it were a short circuit. And under those circumstances, the entire higher frequency components will pass through the capacitor as a short circuit and be seen here at the output.